I'm jumping in before this very weird video and I'm uploading it. It's me, it's who I am and that's what you get. But I wanna mention to try to save myself some misery. I'm going to be talking about something near the end, about my fingers. <laughs> I'm not gonna give it away, just watch. And it might sound to you like I've asked for advice or tips, suggestions, and I'm not. I'm also going to talk a little bit about comments. Editing is done. And um, how having comments off has helped me. So I don't want to um, come across like I want you guys to give me advice because that would mean you'd have to contact me in some way. <laughs> right now, it's the last thing I want is people trying to contact me to help me in a certain way. You know what I mean? So. It's cool. I don't believe I said, do you have any tips for me? If I want help, I will ask, but I'm pretty sure I didn't say that. So, okay, enough confusion. Just go watch the video. <laughs> the minute I turn my camera on, somebody beeps. And I have to learn to not hate the beeps because I do those beeps too, because it's just locking the doors. I am out and about. I am actually sitting in front of a Kroger in South Haven while Skylar is in therapy, but I don't think I'm going to even bother to go in there. I wanted to go in just to walk around, but it's a very small Kroger, so I don't feel like doing that. I don't want to go to the library to kill time because there's no puzzles for me to make. <laughs> so, this is where I am, just sitting in a parking lot, and I've had to start this video over probably four or five times already, so I'm going to end up killing all the time I have just trying to record. So I'm trying again, and yes, Skylar is in her therapy, and I had told Derek that I would take her this week, and then when he mentioned it today, I was like, I have a big sale coming up, and I think I should just stay home and work on that. And then I felt so bad. I was like, what am I doing? What am I doing? See, I would work 24-7 if I could. And I would love it if I never had to sleep or eat. I would just like to work and do the things that I love to do. It's my safe place. And I wanted to cancel my ride with her so I could work. And I thought, no, I... I I have to, I have to uh, take her because that's what I said I would do and that's what I moved here to do, to help out. So that's what I told Derek. I said, no, 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 I'm going to take her. So I, I took her and I'm glad that I'm out. And am I nervous about work? Always. I'm always nervous. If I could work 24 seven, I would wish there would be more hours in the day. That's just the way it is with me. It is just... I just want, I want more of that stuff. I dropped her off and I told Derek I'm not going to the library because there's no good puzzles for me to make. And there's really no other stores that I have been to that I'd want to revisit, like that bargain hunt, the Goodwill. He said, well, there is a Kroger there. And he doesn't know that I did a video about Kroger. He doesn't watch my videos. But I said, okay, I, I can at least walk around. I'm not as stressed today as I was yesterday. So I thought I could just walk around and I know my Kroger card works. So, you know, that made my anxiety levels a little bit lower. <laughs> I'm watching jets fly. Um, and I mean, take off. I mean, they're literally like just taking off over there and it's kind of cool. Um, 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 but I just don't have anything to buy and I'm not going to go in. I'm going to just sit here and chat with you guys, maybe take a ride somewhere else. It's very noisy here with the jets and traffic. I don't even know what to talk about. I just know that I don't want to go in Kroger. I have no interest in it. It's just, uh, I don't know what there is. Like when I leave her therapy, I always take a left with a light <laughs> and I go this way. I'm going to go back that way to therapy because there is no light for me. So I only can take a right. I don't take lefts on highways with no lights, you know, that allow me to go left. So I'm going to pull out, take a right. 
I'm going to go past the road where her therapy is, and uh, I'm going to go see what's on that side. Huh? Let's just do that. I could have hooked up my camera on my windshield. I haven't done that for a while, but let me just ride. I don't want to be nervous. <laughs> Everywhere I go, it's noisy. The jets are even louder here, it seems. And what I did is I did not go where I thought I was going to go. I was going to just ride around, but I know in that direction it was just going to be nothing. So I didn't feel like doing that. So I just pulled into where Skylar's therapy is, and that's where I'm sitting, and I'm going to wait. And there's a whole big building that I'm looking at that they're building. Um, I'll show it to you. And they're making lots of noise, and there's a motor running, and we're going to have to deal with it because I have to have the windows open a little bit, and here comes another jet. <laughs> they are supposed to have um, therapy horses here, so I wonder if that has anything to do with that. That would be so cool. Is it awful that I want to talk to you even though I have absolutely nothing to say? What can I talk about? What? 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 I've started this car vlog over so many times that I don't know if I mentioned that uh, yesterday's stress was all caused by phone calls. And uh, I still have more calls to make and I didn't want to do that today so I skipped it because I woke up in a good mood and I didn't want to ruin that. But yeah, phone calls are terrible, terrible for me. And uh, it was just very stressful. And it showed. Um, and when I you know, tell you those things about how stressed out I am and how I can cry in stores. <laughs> That's absolutely real. It really is. And I have most times that I can function like a normal or even an above normal person. Because I accomplish a lot of things and I know that. I know that I can do a lot. I also know that I have anxiety and just just stress and you know I know a lot of it is from a lot of trauma in my life you know so I understand why I am the way I am and I just try to live with it the best that I can without being doped up on medication and I don't mean to say that like if you're on medication that you're doped up but I, that's how it was with me taking a break for the jet. Well, I've said it before many times. Uh, I've tried medication throughout different periods of my life. Sometimes it works, but it never worked for good uh, for long. And I usually ended up having side effects that were worse than what I was trying to treat. I just gave up on all that. And I uh, just as soon... Uh, you know, live a stressed out life. <laughs> That's what I choose. Yesterday, I would have felt good being hospitalized. I mean, I just would have liked a place um, where I was just not able to do life things. You know, I've often thought that jail would be good for me. <laughs> it's like I'd have a bed, I'd be fed, and uh, I wouldn't have to worry about anything, you know? It's just, I, I mean, again, I'm not saying that because I feel like I, I want to go to jail. I'm just saying that sometimes zero responsibilities would feel so good. And uh, I don't know. Okay, this is just turning into a weird, a weird video. Let me think of what else I can talk about. I was almost going to start over again because I hated the direction that the video was going in. I just feel like I come across as so weird and it's because I am. I am weird and I'm very open about it. Too open and then I regret things that I say and 
it makes me want to just give up and, and shut up, you know? But here's something I haven't talked about in a long time. Why am I leaning so forward? It's because my video, um, my camera, oh, there's people behind me. I'm still very nervous today. My camera is, is weird. Okay. <laughs> I hope I'm not driving you guys crazy. I hope you find humor in all of this. Ah. And I happened to talk about this with Skylar on the ride over here about me and, and comments. I haven't talked about comments in a long time. And I want to remind everyone that for a long time I had comments on and it would drive me insane. Not just the hate comments, but the good comments, the, the things like, Oh, I love you so much, darling. And then the next day, I heard you drop the F-bomb. I had no idea you were that kind of a person. I'm unsubscribing. You know, it was just, it was just too much. And, um, you know, I couldn't, I, I just couldn't read all that stuff. And I hated to just leave all that stuff there because, um... It was just a lot of work, a lot of noise to me, and it, it was not my cup of tea. So I had started turning comments off, and then people would get mad. And then shortly after I started turning comments off, I would turn them off for a little while and rest, and then I would turn them back on. Then there was a period where YouTube uh, didn't want people to have comments on, like if they had children in their videos and things like that. You had to moderate everything. and. Um, a lot of people started turning their comments off, but then, you know, most everybody turned them back on. But I was like, if YouTube is even encouraging having comments off, I'm just turning them off and I'm leaving them off. And that was a little more than three and a half years ago, and I've never turned my comments on on YouTube since. And I eventually discovered there was ways that I could turn comments off on Facebook, on all my Facebook. You can turn them off in a group, but on a page or a profile, there's an option of who can comment. And if you click the one saying that only people you mention can comment, and you don't mention anyone, then literally nobody can comment. So it's like turning them off. So I turn them off there. I don't have my comments on on TikTok. I don't have them on my blog. Is there any place else? The only place I can't turn them off is Patreon. And there was a time, boy, I wished I could. I even, you know, would ask, why can't we have a feature where we can turn comments off? And they're like, uh, because this is a social platform. And I'm like, no, it's a, a fan funding platform. We don't have to be social. <laughs> so noisy and I can't remember what else I do or whatever but I comments off on Twitter I don't do Instagram I really need to and I, I guess I feel like leaning forward <laughs> this is the position of choice today so here's how that went after I had comments off everywhere for a long time I started to be not in an instant rage when someone would find a way to leave me a comment. Because before, um, I, I could lose my mind with the idiotic comments that I would get. And <laughs> one that I was telling Skylar about today, because I've been very stressed, so I've been like chewing the skin around my fingers. I know that's disgusting. I actually want to do a video about that. Um, I don't chew my fingernails, but like I'll chew or pick the skin if there's anything like, you know, hanging a little bit, I'll, I'll rip that off. Okay, so there, there's that. Um, and one time I was doing a video, and by the way, because I had mentioned once inside Patreon that I was going to do a video, this is why I haven't been doing um, close-ups that involve my hands, like paper beads or crocheting, because my, my fingers are a hot mess and it's all anxiety and stress and I will do a video on that and I'm trying very hard to find a way not to do that um, but you know it's just I'm doing it right now <laughs> I'm picking around my fingers to see if there's anything I can rip off 
yeah, anxiety. Anyway, uh, back in the day when I used to do, you know, close-ups uh, for crafts, paper beads, things like that, somebody commented and said, I notice your fingers around your nails are a little dry. You could try some lotion. And I fucking laid in to that person in the comments a public reply. You think I don't know about fucking lotion? <laughs> I was I was brutal. And I used to do that. I used to really hit back and I felt justified because I didn't ask for anybody's, you know, advice about what to put on my fucking fingers. See how it makes me makes me feel? And uh, there's a whole lot of life that goes into why I feel the way I do and why I say the things I do. Jesus Christ, please don't hit me. Why? why do they feel like they have to back in? I'm so scared. Wow, that's crooked, lady, please. I don't want to have to back out. Oh, God. Am I really going to upload this video? Do I dare? This is how I am the day after the stress that I went through yesterday. What was I even talking about? Yeah, I used to hit back hard because I didn't ask for shit in comments. And if somebody gave me shit, I gave them shit back. And that's a big reason why I need to leave comments off. So when comments were off for a long time, after a long time of mostly quiet, you know, I, I would still get some. After a while, it was easier for me to deal with the comments that I did get, and or emails or messages. Very, very few come through, but um, I can deal with them a little bit better. I still have days where I, like wish I didn't have to ever look at a comment or email uh, that's always going to be that way for me but um, it was the best choice that I could have made and when I see people struggle um, like on TikTok they're they're so upset some will be crying over comments <sighs> they don't realize if they turned them off it would be so much better but most people find comfort in the good comments that they get and see I don't because everyone out there is a stranger to me and I'm a stranger to them and I didn't put any weight on the good ones either it's not like my head was like oh they love me oh nobody knows me and like I said I've seen so many people say something awesome and then just put me down and you know so it just it's just not my it's not my thing I don't need to hear the good. I don't need to hear the bad. Um, I just don't need it. Oh my God, am I really uploading this? I'm still worried about the woman next to me. She's parked so crooked. How would I ever even get out? I hope her person comes out first. All right, I think I picked my thumb enough. I should go. Oh dear, 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 dear me. I know there are others who struggle with, with the skin picking. I just need to stop doing that. And no, I don't want to cover my hands. I can't type with gloves on. I can't cut fabric with gloves on. Um, I don't want those little finger caught things. I would end up just picking that. I even thought of um, new skin. I don't know if you ever heard of that. I used to have that when I was a kid. It's almost like clear nail polish is pretty much what it is. And I really thought about it. And the only reason I really wanted to get some is because now I could pick at that and peel that off. And I thought that'll probably take skin off with it. So <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, I could always get lotion. 